When in the field, it was difficult to have actual um, time to reflect back because it was so such an intense process and um, we didn't really have a lot of spare time. But um, So the only thing that was hard was actually making time. But once we actually got back to Sydney, um, it was, yeah, it was fine. There were times when I was definitely frustrated that I was reflecting too much and not just enjoying things. Um, there are other times when I was frustrated that I was not reflecting at all and just going through the motions and um, that was due to, you know, um, things get really busy uh, but also just uh, the ability to write things down or to have chats like that sometimes in different circumstances you just can't do that and um, or you just don't get the time and it just um, becomes a little bit frustrating. Sometimes you kind of feel really naive, like you come out of these big cross-cultural situations and you see these things that you never could have imagined existed and you get home and you're like, what was I doing there? <laughs> like I wasn't helping at all. Um, but you just kind of have to realise that everybody else is feeling the same way everybody else is feeling that small. And for me that's a big thing that I find really difficult coming to terms with my, my place in all of it. That's great. Did it help to have other people with you when you were doing Yes. That? Definitely. Um, yeah, it did. Because uh, you're in like this full on environment all day, but then it was really nice to go back to the homestay where we were and um, like speak in English, but like English that they can understand. You know, you don't have to um, like simplify your tenses or anything like that. You can just talk and blah. And that was that was really helpful. And I went with a really great group of people as well. So that was. We got a set of questions and we had to do a research essay at the end and I found um, international theories sometimes it's hard to make that link between your internship experience and an international theory that was written in the 17th century so um, that was quite challenging but at the same time um, after doing a few reflection activities it became easier and easier and I could make links and I wouldn't say it uh, is hard because I think everything is possible. But I would say um, what's challenging about these um, reflective activities is about um, linking your university studies with uh, work. So um, you have to look through what you have studies and uh, to compare it to what they're doing at the organization. Okay, the next thing that I found challenging is about um, is that some tasks it um, makes you it, it sort of uh, forces you to to look at certain situations in another person's uh, point of view, in their perspectives. And I think um, that is not something that, that, I, that we would do every day, every day at university. But I think that, that is very, very helpful. That is very um, invaluable to, to, um, to our personal developments.